Hello everyone, my name is John Perez at servicepush.com, that's service-push.com, and today we're going to introduce you to a concept called social CRM, also known as social relationship management. We're going to go over what exactly that is, we're going to actually show you how it would work in a CRM system, and how you can use it in your sales, marketing, and service and support efforts in a particular system using salesforce.com. So, what is social CRM? There is a big buzz about this term on the web, but essentially the business problem today is that several customers, existing customers, leads, prospects, and potential customers are essentially on the web chatting about your product and services or thinking about what they need to invest in in terms of the next capital expenditure or operating expense as it relates to their IT investment or whatever business problem they have that they're trying to resolve. So most of the time they're on Google, they're on a forum asking experts for advice, uh, they're on LinkedIn joining groups. So what does that mean to your business? There's a lot of chatter, there's a lot of conversation occurring in the social web atmosphere that either your company is not having any visibility or insight into, and as a result, you could be missing out on sales, you could be missing out on service conversations that are current on the web related to your product, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. And in the end, this really comes down to increasing your revenue and improving your efficiency and keeping your customers happy. So today we're going to show you a concept, and here's the leads view in salesforce.com, and you can see uh, you have quite a few uh, interesting things going on here. You'll see John Perez here has a LinkedIn icon next to it, okay? And I'll show you some additional functionality, but wouldn't it be great if your CRM system can automatically point and search to search on John Perez's uh, LinkedIn profile? Now, this could be an existing customer, okay? And if it's an existing customer, what a great way to keep that customer by really getting an insight into their professional network and their profile, having a relationship with them through the social LinkedIn network. So if I click on here, uh, what you'll see is it'll actually pull up uh, a LinkedIn uh, search area where it actually looks for John Perez and it looks for all the John Perez's uh, that are on LinkedIn. So essentially if I was an existing customer, um, if I was someone who was new and I wanted to see what John Perez uh, was up to professionally, this would be a great way to actually capture that information right from within Salesforce and copy and paste those details into your system. Uh, so what you just saw there was a use case of me going from salesforce.com using clicking on John Perez's LinkedIn profile and finding him on LinkedIn. From there I can connect if I'm a salesperson trying to sell John Perez something I can actually connect with him as a friend maybe perhaps give him the courtesy of letting him know where I did get his information from or if this is an existing customer it's, it's even better because you should have or your company should have an existing relationship with the customer already so what better way to retain those relationships and keep those relationships going by connecting with your existing customers through the social web and this can be an account this can be an individual person over at a company that you're doing business with. So that is the LinkedIn integration. And uh, let's take this a step further. I'm going to drill into the lead. And I'm going to look at uh, a particular set of links here. Uh, you'll notice that I have the ability to find the LinkedIn profile, as you saw before. I can even see if that person has a Facebook profile. So I'm going to click on that. And, you know, the power of a Facebook profile is there's a lot of great uh, personal information and insight that you can get about your customer there. So, again, if you're an existing customer uh, and they're doing business with you and you're managing that relationship through your CRM system, what a great way to not only connect with them but also to find them through Facebook. If you're a new lead, this would be a great opportunity to see if they have a Facebook profile and maybe have an opportunity to connect with them through their social network versus is a typical cold call. Uh, so you can see here all the John Perez's are on Facebook uh, within the New York area and I can select here uh, which which of that which of those John Perez's meet my criteria. I may need to do a little searching but in the end that's what selling is all about and marketing to your new customers is all about doing a little research but wouldn't it be great to have these links right in your system. You can also find Twitter conversations and if I click on that you'll see that it goes out and it looks for Twitter conversations. In this particular case, it does it specific uh, to the individual person, um, but you can also have it 
query for an individual company. So if there is actually uh, discussions on Twitter as it relates to a company or the particular individual you're looking for, this uh, search interface will provide you that. So you can see my profile here, John Perez, and I'm going to click out of that. Uh, the next thing uh, you can also find is what I call account conversations. So uh, let's say the company name, in this case, it's Premier Global Services. That can be American Express. That can be anyone. But essentially, if you want to find out the latest and greatest news, yes, you can tap into tons of uh, Hoover's information. And all of that is actually here and already integrated into Salesforce, Google News. Uh, but what account conversations will do is actually tap into the community of resources that are out there, uh, specifically with forums and online communities talking about these businesses. So what this will do is rather than present to you the public information related to a company, uh, this is actually going to show you the stuff that's really being posted by customers or potential customers on a blog. Uh, so you'll see here, uh, there's a little write-up here, uh, Ireland General Manager of Premier Global. Uh, they have him quoted here. And there's a couple of other angles here from a Twitter perspective. You can search for company chatter. Uh, you can search for company Facebook profiles or fan pages. That's also a great way to become a fan of their page using your uh, personal Facebook um, account. So this way you can stay connected with their updates, really get to know the company from a social perspective. So what I showed you here is pretty much essentially how you would manage those interactions from a lead perspective using salesforce.com, using these useful links where you can immediately link into the potential Facebook profiles, Twitter conversations, as well as LinkedIn profiles of your potential leads and prospects. So this is just a quick example of social CRM. In a couple of videos, we'll show you actually how to get these links into your salesforce.com system. It does take quite a bit of a integration. I'm also gonna show you two uh, the contacts tab as we got some pretty cool customization occurring here uh, if you go into any one of these particular profiles you'll also notice that there's a great little summary of of icons related to Hoover's Google Yahoo even Twitter and New York Times uh, this is courtesy of Al Navarro who's actually did a great hack in salesforce.com and Firefox to actually make this happen. So in the subsequent videos, we're going to show you how to do that. But again, the same concept applies. I click here for a Twitter search, and this is actually searching for any discussions related to C3I Incorporated, uh, which is actually a company that prof that specializes in help desk support services in the life sciences vertical. So with that said, you can search for Twitter chatter, okay, on within your CRM system you can search for Twitter users uh, if it's a prospect who's on Twitter and you can also find them on Facebook and in LinkedIn in a couple of videos we will show you how to do this so this is social CRM let us know what you think